All right, I'm like super excited about this cart, especially since right now everything is available. Hi Gems, it's your girl Amber and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you saw in the title, it is not a drill. It is not a drill. It is the spring Sephora sale. Listen, y'all know she come twice a year. She come in the spring, she come closer towards the holiday, like typically around that first week of November. But it is clearly not a drill, cause y'all know once the products go in the car, baby, the girlies globally are snatching them up. So let's get all the particulars out of the way as far as the dates, the membership levels, and the percentage of your discount. So first things first, actually today, starting April 5th, shout out, I'm a little late loading this, but it's. It's not too late for the for the entire sale. It does extend until April the 15th. So we do have about a week and a couple days. Um, but today, specifically starting on April the 5th, we have our Sephora collection. Everything is 30% off from now until April 15th and the first day of Rouge level memberships at Sephora. That's 20% off um, your total cart. And that starts again today along with the Sephora collection april 5th to april 15th next we have our vib unfortunately that is your girl i really haven't spent that much money on makeup you guys you know i'm just getting back into the swing of things i work from home buying products and i still get pr sometimes it can be a little bit difficult baby why my card we'll get to that in a minute nonetheless the vib is 15 percent off and we don't really kick start anything until like the 9th of april I can hear her, she's coming. Uh, but again, VIB 15% off starting April 9th to April 15th. Um, and then your final level of membership is Insider. That's if you go into Sephora, you just sign up today. You'll get 10% off all of your products from April 9th to April 15th. So I'm gonna run that back through. Sephora collection and the Rouge. Sephora collection, everything's 30% off. Rouge, everything's 20% off starting April 5th through April 15th. We have the VIB kicking off on 4.9 to the 4.15, 15% off. And then you have your insider. Again, if you come off the street and you're just like, sign me up, chief, 10% off. It starts on April 9th and it ends on, again, April 15th. So girl, why are we here today? Not only to share with you the savings, but to tell you what's in my cart. Cause now I can't be trusted. Right, so I'm gonna throw some things out there. You guys may comment on this video, but like, don't waste your money. And I need that. Otherwise, I'm just gonna buy everything in the store, okay? But the girlies, the girlies have been putting me on with like the things. And I'm like, okay, I need to get it myself. First of all, my makeup artist, um, Davon Kane um, at Davon Kane Beauty on Instagram. Shout out to Davon. He has done my makeup twice thus far, and he probably will do my makeup for my wedding. Probably do my makeup for my engagement stuff. He'll probably just be doing my makeup until I'm under the ground, six feet in. Okay, like because I want a full beat face. Nonetheless, he used some products I have never used, and they were Sephora products. Um, Oh, quite a bit of Danessa Myricks, but we'll get to that. Um, so I was making sure that everything that I had in my cart is things that he'd used on me before. I will say, and I'll drop some images, some makeup that he's done for me. Baby. I was fine. Fine. So trust and believe that these products have been used on me. I have not purchased them, but they've been used on me. And they are an absolute must have. So let's just jump right into it. Um, these are the items that are going to be in my cart. Again, because I'm VIB, I can't start shopping until April 9th. But baby, I got I got the cart ready. Apple Pay, submit. Okay, so I'm just going to share some of the items that are in my cart. Um, and again, sound off in the comments below. Like if you have it and you're like, girl, get it. Baby, I may go in the store. I love online shopping because I hate them all. But if y'all press me, baby, I will make a trip. I make a trip for a good product. So first off the bat, they're not in no particular order. Like I wish I could be that dialed in, but baby, just add to cart. Um, first things first, this is Urban Decay, uh, the 24-7 Moon Dust Eyeshadow in the shade Space Cowboy. This on melanin skin. I'm not even talking about an excessive shadow application. I'm not saying you need to have all the skills. Baby, this finger right here, and a little doop 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 with a little transition shade, stunning. Stunning. I have seen um, several girls online. I have seen melanated hues from medium to the deepest of dark, baby, with this eyeshadow. Plus, I love a pressed pigment, honey. And uh, she's $24, and she's going to go ahead home with me. Yeah, because I'm loving this 
mad base that's happening. Y'all know the girls out there on TikTok teaching everybody. Uh, Uchin's, uh, I, yeah, Uchin's makeup tutorial. <laughs> That's like a her UK. It's very UK makeup, but I'm here for it because it's very snatched and like matte. And I'm just I'm a sucker for a matte skin. Um, next up is y'all was coming for me in my DMs. Like, what do you mean you don't wear foundation? I have not worn liquid foundation in a very long time. Um, when I find that I don't need it, I feel like I touch my face too much, and liquid foundation would just ruin me in my attire. <laughs> But um, I still love foundation. I just haven't been like, I don't feel like I've been in love with the foundation since like CoverGirl. And they discontinued my shade. So like, I've been out here roughing it ever since, really. You know, I'll use foundation here and there, but a powder will do me good, you know? But the way that this foundation is laying on people's face, uh, I was with my girlfriend Ty the other day and I was just like staring at her. And she probably was like, what is this bitch staring at me for? But House of Labs. House Labs by Lady Gaga. I'm gonna get the tri Skin Tech Medium Coverage Foundation with Fermented Arnica. What? Nonetheless, I decided to go with Deep Neutral. I am a, um, I am a neutral girl. I don't lean more red or more golden. I just sit right in the middle. Cool tones, she's good. Sign me up, Scotty. Uh, that retails at $45. Next up, um, is it a necessity? Is it a need or a really strong want? So I've been on this blush kick. Like, I'm actually wearing their product today. Um, this is the orange palette. I don't know the name of it, but what I have in my cart right now is the One Size by Patrick Star Cheek Clapper 3D Blush. Like I said, I'm wearing the orange. But baby, I need that girly pop. The girly pop, that hot pink. Baby, and I'm not even in my summer color yet. When I get deep, deep, rich, dark, that hot pink, not enough words. Y'all just sit back and wait for it to pop off. That retails at $38, and I personally feel like all of Patrick's products have never done me wrong. Like, I'm a slur for his concealer, his finishing sprays, and as I mentioned, I use his foundation powder, like, since I don't use a liquid foundation. But she'll be real cute with the House of Labs. She'll be able to set it all together. Um, and nine times out of 10 when I wear foundation, it's for special occasions. I don't really go nowhere that much, but at least I'll have it in my arsenal and I can speak to it. Cause the girl always be like, Amber, what do you recommend? Can I use powder? And then people get mad because they feel like they need more coverage. And I'm like, it's genetics. It's not, I'm not trying to say it's my skin, but like, what you want me to do? I, I really, I really just be wearing powder foundation. <laughs> But I'm gonna start wearing the liquids for y'all so I can really tell y'all what's out here and popping. Um, since I've been, I've been so gone. You know, I've been gone, removed from the makeup space. I've just been sticking with the same stuff. So I'm excited, because I love makeup. I love playing in makeup. I love trying new things. And if I am the guinea pig for you guys, sign me up. Next up, this was a recommendation from my makeup artist, Davon. Um, Danessa Myrick's Beauty Yummy Skin Blurring Balm powder i got it in the shade universal retails for 36 dollars um and since we're sticking with Danessa myrick right now i also got the same skin blurring um balm powder in my shade 8.5 so i was watching probably instagram and Danessa was doing one of her muse faces and she did a step by step baby and i said oh baby i need everything she's talking about so i went on ahead and got the blurring balm powder in universal I got it in my shade 8.5 and then I also added the Yummy Skin Mattifying Water Powder Serum. Um, I can't remember the girl on TikTok. Uh, girl, I be up late night and I just love beauty content. And uh, she was just talking about um, for oily combination skin, like collectively all three of those products are like mwah, chef's kiss. So, um, and again, because I saw Danessa using it on her muse, I was like, baby, let me, let me just get this in the car. Let's just figure this out together, okay? so. I'm gonna go back. Um, the balming powders, the balm powders are $36 a piece. And then um, the mattifying water powder serum is also $36. Two of them come in like a flat um, compact and then one comes in like a tube like that, like a serum, like how you would do your skincare. So all of that, Danessa got my money. Oh, there's another Danessa product that I added in here. And that's gonna be the, um, the yummy, 
what is it? It's the Yummy Skin Glow Serum. I already have the light shade. I don't know the name of it, but I don't know if I have it right here. Hold on. That's a lie. Let me not do that, y'all. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is the Yummy Sin Glow Serum in the shade Main Squeeze, and I'll show you. Um, she's stunning. I love wearing it under my foundation. I do, I, under my, well, well, I still wear powder foundation. Um, I love wearing it as a skin prep, but Davon felt like I needed a deeper shade, so I added Juicy Boost to my cart, Juice Boost to my cart. So I already have Main Squeeze, which is the lighter of the shades, and she still gets her done. Like, I still feel like my skin is glowy um but still mattifying and just moisturized so i don't feel like my under eye powder is like caking up i don't feel like anything feels heavy it feels hydrated um i've been preaching to you guys for years just because your oily combination skin do not stop um do not skip your skin prep because what ends up happening is you don't put moisturizer on you don't put any kind of serums underneath your skin your skin is going to feel like it has to overproduce we don't want that we want to be able to have that moisturizing base on so that our skin feels at its normal base. Let me go to my kit. Oh, also a recommendation from my makeup artist, Davon. He used this particular concealer on my birthday look. And uh, it's the It Cosmetic Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. I got the shade Deep Honey. Um, I do love a, a relatively um, brighter under eye, but... Um, I don't have a concealer that, that that's any lighter than like a golden warm. Um, so I needed something just a bit up, way more opaque, way more coverage um, for those like, like uh, super duper, like I, I'm hitting the town. Like I just wanted a concealer that was a little bit brighter than my normal. Um, and he's used that on me and I absolutely love it. Um, I went on ahead and added me some topical eye mask. I did, I threw two in my cart. So next up, um, we have the Refi Brow Sculpt Shade and Hold Gel. Don't get me wrong, I love the Brow Freeze from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but it can, and I'm already on my second jar. You know, you just kind of get bored with products and you want to see like what else is better, what else can like stick out. The one thing I would say about the Brow Freeze from Anastasia Beverly Hills is that even though it eventually dries down, it is quite shiny, um, and I'm finding that from the reviews that I've seen on TikTok. Um, she lays pretty flat and not greasy. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing how that applies on my skin. I did get a couple lip products. My girl was like, you absolutely need to get Sephora Collection Cream Lip Stain in Black Cherry. Um, always looking to add reds to my arsenal that have blue deep undertones that just works for my skin. And, you know, I'm not out here trying to reinvent the wheel. I just know it will work for me, you know what I'm saying? Speaking of lip, I also added the Fenty um, HBIC, the Fenty Icon Velvet Liquid Lipstick, because I already have, um, I don't even know what iteration, actually. <laughs> Baby, I love having a product at my footsteps. I currently have the MVP, and I just find, she's, she's awesome, I love the way it goes on, but for deeper skin tones, see how it has more red in it? I end up having to mix two reds or like line my lips with a darker red and then fill in my inner like on a pout with this one and i just want to see how um hbic applies without having to do like too much work you know what i'm saying so yeah i went ahead and added that i also added the soleil de janeiro um perfume mist what i love about this is i wear wigs all the time right and um i keep them pretty good in maintenance as you've seen over the years but i do love like a hair mist and the girls are saying that the soleil de janeiro is like so nice and i was like you know what let me get a little trial and i'll see because i am going on vacation in may um and soleil and vacation just hand in hand like oh why so yeah, that's, um, oh, I'm lying. Oh my God, I got some more cheek products. Um, this one, again, because I am just, I know what my skin is gonna do in the summer. I'm just gonna get a little bit more deeper and colors on me are just going to pop crazy. So I added the Westin, um, the Westman Atelier Baby Cheek Lip Cheek Cream Blush Stick <laughs> in the shade Pop It. 
Um, this one also is a very vibrant pink. I've seen this on several beauty girls on TikTok who are my complexion, if not deeper, and it is absolutely stunning. She is a bit pricey. She's $48, um, but are we really looking at the price tags right now? <laughs> this is a Sephora sale, baby. Um, yeah, so anyway, I also added another lip product. Um, this is the number 17 uh, Molasses and the Retractable Rouge Gel Lip Liner from Sephora. I added two of those to my cart because, I mean, you just never have enough lip liners. Um, I did add uh, the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm for Hydration and Shine. I got in Vanilla Beige because um, I do love a more clear balm on my lip. I don't want anything that's tinted because um, that's just not... I mean, I have other products for that, but I do love a nice tick uh, lip um, lip gloss or a lip moisturizer whether you wear it at night or in the day at my desk when I'm working so I did add that to the mix um, Lord another blush so I have quite a bit of rare beauty by Selena Gomez um, several of her liquid blushes and uh, I've just been collecting them at this point I have a light pink I have a bright orange I have a coral <laughs> and now I'm adding um, faith which is like more of a deep plum don't know if I'll be using it so much in the summer, but I'll have it in the fall when the time's right. I did add some setting powder. Um, I got a mini Givenchy and number three, Volet Rosé. Uh, this is the mini Prism Libre Loose setting powder and finishing powder. Um, the girls are saying, especially for deeper skin tones, like that pink undertone under the eye um, is really good. And I'm loving like this soft, delicate, face right now um I hope I'm giving that um nothing that's too overdone it's just highlighting my natural assets L let me just keep it a buck like I don't want anything that's gonna make me not look like me because I is me um I did throw in a smell good I threw in the Valentino Donna Born and Roma um travel spray so that's just kind of like rollerball size $35 oh my god did I add another blush Patrick Star I added attention seeker I had a girly pop and a tinted. So that's too much pink. So I may take one of these out. I think I'm gonna go with girly pop. Because I have a really, really, really beautiful blush. Um, again, from Lady Gaga. Like, if you guys, at this point, it's almost like what's in my car, but also let me give you a couple suggestions real quick. <laughs> these powders, you guys. Let me find the other one. I bought two. I just cannot. So this is the Color Fuse brush. This is Watermelon Bliss. Baby, look at that. So good, I, I, I'm pretty obsessed with this one. But I've really been into pink and oranges right now. This translates. I wonder if I can show you guys on camera. Like, she translates, y'all. Don't get it twisted. Don't think for a second just because we're deeper skin tones that it doesn't show up. Because, look at that. I hope you, oh, it's so pretty. It's soft, it's understated, but look. Oh, okay, that's a bit much, but you could just blend her out because she's so, she's so light. I'm obsessed and I always put a little bit of blush on my nose. Like that is so pretty. <laughs> so pretty. So if anything, if you guys are also interested in new products, the House of Labs blushes are sick. I don't remember the price point. I'll make sure to list them below. But overall, I don't think my, my, I don't think my car too bad. Is my car crazy? I actually don't care. But um, I'm really excited to do more makeup tutorials. I'm really excited to share my thoughts and my preview on particular items. And overall, just get your engines revved and the credit card Apple Pay connected. <laughs> okay? So until our next video, Jones. Bye.